don't eat breakfast, I, my stomach hurts and I get dizzy and all that. As a registered dietitian, it's uh, extremely important to me that every student in the county eat breakfast. One of our students um, was taken to the clinic. He had passed out in, in, in his class. And after talking to him for about 15 minutes, he has said that he had no breakfast. I was feeling a little dizzy and tired when I didn't eat breakfast. We don't know when their last meal was. A lot of times when our kids come through the door, we're the first meal that they get. It's not only the, the cognitive development that we're interested in, but we're interested in the emotional, the physical, the, the, the growth of the entire child. important attribute of breakfast in the classroom is that it is making sure that these children are getting breakfast, they have food in their bellies for their start of their day. Breakfast in the classroom uh, should be an asset in increasing test scores because students will not be hungry, they will be energized. My students are definitely more attentive. They come to school, they're ready to learn, they're focused, and they're alert. We worked with the teachers and we looked at how were we going to get more time for the children to work on their academics. And the teachers really believed that this was one of the things that we had to do. We had one school in particular that decided to implement breakfast in the classroom. And they were right around a C school and within about a year they had an A grade. Before school starts, cafeteria workers prepare the breakfast by taking the food out of the oven. Hot and cold bags are optional if available. After the food is prepped and ready to go, it is then loaded onto the food carts. Once the carts are all loaded, they are pushed down the hallway to their designated area. But hold up! There are a couple of different options. You can drop the carts off in the hallway and let the kids grab their breakfast on their way to class or you can drop off your carts at the classroom. If you choose to drop the carts off at the classroom, then the teachers will take the breakfast into the classroom with the kids taking it from the teachers. After sitting down, the students will get to eat and enjoy their breakfast. Teachers can also eat and check off their rosters or they can help serve the rest of the children. We were leery at the beginning, like, oh my goodness, it'll be so messy, and it'll be so much work. Oh, it, was, it sounds like an awful lot of extra work. Whatever, it's going to be this and this. It really is. Once you get it planned out and everything, it's wonderful. If there's wrappers and stuff on the tables, I encourage my kids, you know what, help a buddy out. They can take your garbage and put it away for you. So it's, it's all about teamwork. The job duty of it, you know, yeah, in the beginning it takes work, but once you got it all down packed, it becomes a smooth sail from there. The benefits certainly outweigh the, the challenges that we face so far. Our discipline is uh, down almost 50% from first night week. We have less tardies in the morning because uh, kids are trying to rush to the lines to get their food and get into their classrooms. When you go into the classroom and the children are having breakfast, it's a, it's a family atmosphere, which is something that we have to teach to a lot of our children, that when we come together, it's a social aspect, it's a positive, it starts a day off positive. Kids um, are excited to come to school, they're excited to get their breakfast, they're excited to get into class and, and to begin the day on, on a good note. If we're able to get more of our children uh, taking part in that breakfast, that becomes just one more link to their success. So I would encourage all of you to take part in the Breakfast in the Classroom program and to explore all the positive possibilities. Breakfast in the Classroom. Do it today.